to make you happy we're going to make you smile just sit down and relax and watch what we do today now today with me here on set i have two guests hmm guys <laughs> they are nice people they are very 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 talented now on my right i have justice Jero. he is the ceo of funny head comedy welcome guy Thank you. Job <laughs> And with me here today, I have Frank Ihejeto. He is the DOP and the um, editor of the Funny Heads Comedy. Guys, you are going to love their content. They are not just ordinary people. They are people who are talented here to give you. You are going to watch their content after the program. Favor, you're welcome. You look good, by the way. I love your glasses. I'm going to take them after the end of today's program. <laughs> uh, what is that loud? What is that loud? Okay, guys, you're welcome to today's program. Welcome to RSTV Award. You know what we always do here. It's all about entertainment. We're here to make you smile. We're here to make, keep you informed and entertained. Now, I'm going to be asking you guys some questions. I want you guys to smile for me. I don't understand these straight faces. <laughs> Please, smile for me. Now, Justice. Tell us about your funny head comedy and what have you been up to for the, for the meantime? Well, um, first of all, viewers, I want to say happy new build to you all. And also, okay. Nigerians, I want to say happy Independence Day. Yeah. Mm, yeah happy Independence well, you're not putting Day. on green and white. You're not representing us. I'm representing the white. <laughs> yeah. like, our country is green and white. And you're just white, white and what? White, I, black and purple. At least I have the there. white. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so please tell us about your Funny Heads comedy. What is it about? Tell us well, about Well, actually, Funny Heads comedy, it's a YouTube channel yeah. where we create funny content to put smiles on your face. But as of recent now, we just developed not just only comedy, but now we entertain you with movies. Okay. Really movies, yeah. yeah. Currently, we have um, a movie that is trending online at Funny Heads Comedy on YouTube. Okay. Uh, the title of the movie is Rules of the Game. All right. I'm sure so many of you there are already watching it. Okay. Episode 1 is online already. So by Wednesday this week, uh, the thriller of episode 2 will be, be out. On, yeah, so okay, guys, please two. sit back and keep waiting for Funny Heads Comedy to show you the rules of the game. That's the title of the movie, yeah, right? Yeah, rules of the game. I know you would love it. Now, favor over to you. You're the director of photography and the editor, right? Yeah. yeah I know you've been... Yeah editing some nice content. How have you seen their comedies? Don't don't see him as your friend right now. Just tell us, what do you feel? Do you think you guys are funny enough to answer Funny Heads comedy? Do you think if people see your content out there, they'll be able to watch and laugh and smile at your comedies? Okay, well, yes, definitely. Um, one thing I know is uh, this is talent and work. Okay. It's not something we just went in because uh, people are into it. Okay. That's what I observed. So funny as comedy, the name came about because it's it's kind of our line of acting. You know, the whatever we do, we tend to make sure both in normal movies and everything, we tend to make sure that we can engage with our audience right. and all of that. So in that in that particular platform now, I think the the contents are really really fun. Even sometimes while shooting and stops, uh, I I do even laugh <laughs> self uh, behind the camera because of. I'll give it to that, like uh, Jero here, he's a very, very, very talented okay. um, uh, comedy. Now, comedian. over to you, Jero. You're talking about Funny Heads Comedy. What, what, what brought about that name? Like, what made you to give your concept that name, Funny Heads? Well, um, actually, you know, before the, the creation of Funny Heads Comedy, okay. uh, we had an existing um, comedy channel 2 on YouTube. All right. I think that what was, was um, Jerovin Comedy as of 2015, 2016, there about. Okay. So, all of a sudden, some, for some reasons. You changed the uh, name? No, we dropped it and it stopped functioning. Okay. And that was 2019, June, 19th day of June 2019. And uh, I just came out with this vision that, okay, we should, I want to go ahead with this stuff. So, I met uh, Mr. Frank here. 
with uh, one Mr. Emmanuel and said, okay, fine, let us, why not we start up something like this again? Okay. And we thought of the name. I said, okay, that's how the name Funny Head Comedy came to be and all that. Okay, now, I'm looking at you now. I want you to make me, uh, not, not just you, the both of you. Viewers are watching you right now, and they feel you guys, since you're answering Funny Head Comedy, they feel that you guys should be funny naturally. Now, I want you guys to make me laugh. I don't know what you will do <laughs> for your viewers. So. You are the CEO, yeah. bruh. <laughs> I want you guys to make us, not me, make us laugh. Just do something that you think can make me smile on screen. I want to smile. I've been the only one smiling since. Both of you have not been smiling. Yeah, so do something smiling. that would make you smile. <laughs> You're already <laughs> smiling. No! no. You're I am not watching your skits. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what? What do you think you're funny? Like, do you think you've been into comedy from the onset? Was comedy what you want? Been something you wanted to do, or you just started it? Actually, um, acting has been my okay. career from the beginning, yeah. from childhood. Yeah. I loved acting. Yeah. You know that. Then talking about funny, I'm, I'm very, very troublesome and funny. Well, I've not laughed very, since very now. Funny. I don't understand. So. <laughs> You've been okay. laughing. No, I do, I'm laughing at myself, guys. Are you seeing that? <laughs> okay, so funny heads, funny heads comedy, like you heard him say, funny heads comedy. They are going to be going on live from when? Or they are live already? We are live already on YouTube. Okay. Uh, we are so guys, there. keep watching funny heads comedy. They promise to make us laugh. Let's see what they have for us. I don't really know yeah, if laugh. I. Not just laugh, what? Keep entertained too with our movies or blockbusters. What we have now. Okay, now I have an important now. question. In a situation where maybe you are invited for a show or an event, and then you're intended to make people, how do you uh, manage a situation where you're trying to crack a joke and people are not laughing? <laughs> <laughs> then you're cracking a joke, people are not laughing. That means that joke is not funny enough. You okay, have to so we should we should wait and see that you're actually funny. We are going to play your skits for the viewers to watch out okay. there. Yes, we are going to play them. And viewers, I want you guys to give us your feedback. You know you have our Facebook handle. Tell us about these funny heads because they said they are funny. I want to, I want to really see that they are funny. So you think handling them, if you think they don't laugh on screen, then you are not funny. So all the mm. events you've been going for, all your viewers, whenever you crack a joke, they always laugh at the joke. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Mm? Definitely. We have, <laughs> have, we have, no. See, one thing is the people, some people just go and do it, uh, go out there to make people laugh okay. because they see others do it. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes it's not all about what you say. Sometimes it's the way you present what you say. All right. And that's one thing I've observed with the funniest as I've been working with them. Like okay. our actors don't just speak. But our actions reflect that comic or that message we intend to uh, pass out. So talking to about people. talking about making people laugh, how do you come up with ideas? How do you put up ideas and say, this thing, you know, it's not really easy. It's not really easy to make people laugh. People well, even shout dry, dry. It's not funny on air. You understand? So how do you come up with concepts? How do you come up with materials? Uh, I, I, it's easy to me. I would say it's easy to okay. come up with funny content. Like. You use the day to day or normal day to day activities. Mm -hmm. I just stay and reason. Most times, content I shoot is what I see happen, what I okay. watch happen life. Like, mm -hmm. I'll just spice it up and develop it and shoot. I mean, it happens in our day to day activities. So okay, guys, we are watching Funny Heads and we are going to see what they have for us. Before we continue today's program, like you know, today is Independence Day. We are not just talking about Funny Heads comedy alone. Today is Independence and we are going to ask questions on how well you know your country, Nigeria. I'm going to be asking you 11 questions, but before we kick start, we are going to go on a very short break. We'll be right back. Don't walk it, don't try, try. You supposed to be jai jai. Kill up, come, it come, per se, my dog, per se, we don't mind. You mean you keep going around looking for a fresh lady to death? Oh, did I even say that? Alright, pretty. 
Wow. You're so much welcome to my small apartment. Please manage me for who I am and do okay? Let's go. I want to stay here. <laughs> Alpha, how did you go with your new catch yesterday? I hope you enjoyed meeting her. Area didn't enjoy anything. Area need an industrious lady. A lady that has something to offer. And not all these hungry looking ladies, bro. What is going on in this place? Oh, Samuel, please tell me. What is my friend? Who's I talking to you? You will not close that letting him out. Who's I talking to you? Honestly, I don't like the way you treat and call her this morning. I told you before, he's not what you think. At least you don't know what I'm doing for you. I'm trying to protect you. Eh? I'm sure you cannot see it right now. But today you're going to thank me. What about your new cats? Uh, I hope you guys are getting along. She seems to be a gambler. I know such ladies want to be in her life. For security people. Is it Wait, how do you even want to spend such amount of money on something you're not sure of? Henry, come, let me ask you. Is anything wrong with me going around looking for a beautiful damsel and a God-fearing lady to spend the rest of my life with? <laughs> Tell, eh? You don't think the game is going to enter. If this game plays, I just know what you're going to do. Lily, I can tell that we will never win this very once. How about Lily? Congratulations for once. Then when it's time now, promise to be caring and when it's time to be something different. But, but I just can and uh, I would love you to spend more time with me. Please. I don't know that thing. Oh, but Effie, it's like your sister hates me and she might stop you from coming here soon. <laughs> you know, there is no difference between you and the devil. They say the devil came to steal, kill and destroy. The difference is just that you don't steal. Nothing much, as usual. Just have a taste of my brother. You need to repent. You need to repent. You need to repent. Let's get you to see how good and great it is. It presents the marriage certificate. Marriage certificate. Don't walk it, don't try, try. You supposed to be jai jai. Kill up, come, be come, be same, my dog, be same with a man. back guys guys i know you guys are wondering that uh, uh, i'm just watching something and i'm not laughing guys sorry <laughs> sorry for making you guys on that this is supposed to be a movie a short movie and not a comedy if you want to watch their comedies you check them on youtube funny heads comedy this is their short movie which they just premiered now okay now moving over to the next segment of today's program it is our did you know segment Hmm, did you know facts? Guys, you know as it, as it is, I told you that, did you know the back of the head, which you call ogo? It is not ogo, it is called the occipital bone. Now, today I am telling you that, did you know that in Singapore, chewing gum is banned? You don't chew gum in Singapore. So if you travel to that country and you carry chewing gum in your bag and you go there and you chew it and police catch you, you are on your own, you're going to pay some fine. So did you know that chewing gum is banned in Singapore? The only reason why you should chew gum in Singapore is maybe because it, is, it was being prescribed by a dentist for your teeth and other medical purposes. But apart from that, do not chew gums in Singapore. 
I know you have been entertained. I know you have been informed right now. Moving over to our entertainment gist of the week, starting with Ricardo Banks. Guys, Ricardo Banks this week lost his mom to an illness. That's so sad. He lost his mom to an illness and he posted it on Instagram saying that we should help console him for losing his mother. Now to Maven Records. Don Jazzy has unveiled his songwriters and his producers. There are six of them. And one of them is Arastar's brother, Mila. Mila is one of them and as you can see them on your screen, they look dope. One is seven, Prestige, Mila, and so on. Now, moving over to our foreign entertainment gist for the week, we have Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran was being sued because he said, they said he copied Marvin Gaye's song. Thinking out loud that we all know that he sang, he was sued for it, saying that he copied Marvin Gaye's song. Now, we have another story. NBA rapper, an American rapper, he's called NBA Youngboy. Guess what, guys? This guy is just 22 years old, and he has welcomed his... Tenth child, his tenth child, and he's just twenty-two. What? I don't understand. What am I waiting for? <laughs> he's a sharp shooter. <laughs> so he just welcomed his tenth child, and he's just twenty-two year old. Oh my God! Who knows? Who knows the other children that the other girlfriend has aborted and all that? Mm. So I mean, more than that. Or more? This one, he carries. He's dropping them every year. Okay, guys, now the phone line is going to be on your television screen right now. As you all know, it's all about entertainment. 0802-783-9914. I am going to be asking you questions about your country. Today is Independence Day. I am putting on green and white. I don't know why my people are not putting on green and white, I'm but white. I am putting on green and white. We are here to celebrate our country. Tell me, make me know how well you love your country. I have 11 questions for you concerning Nigeria. I'm going to be asking you some questions, 11 good questions. You're going to answer me from number one to number 11. I know if I ask some of you, one of you now, some questions. Now, let me just steal one of my questions and ask you, who named Nigeria? Who okay. named Nigeria? I want to disappoint you both uh, down uh, here. <laughs> now, <laughs> just, you just have luck that you have a caller. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I will ask you the question. I said, who names Nigeria? Um, actually. Don't answer me. I know that's one of my questions. Just tell me. Say it to your heart. Just, just, just give me benefit of doubt that you know the answer. Do you know the answer? So, do you know the answer? <laughs> we have another caller. Good morning. Yes, I can hear you. Good morning. Okay, so pick a number. Number three, we have which state was the capital before Abuja State? Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> he said Lagos State. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. You guys should calm down. Don't worry. I'm going to take your calls before you hang up this phone. Okay, we have a caller. Good morning. Can you hear me? <laughs> See the way they are rushing to call, like they can answer the question. Like I don't get. Oh my God, People guys, please calm down. Hello, good morning. Yes, please pick a number. Number eight. Number eight. I have. Democracy Day was changed from May 29th to what year? June. June what? 29th. June what? 29th. No, you're wrong, baby. <laughs> June 12th. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I love that. See, they, don't, they, they, they keep calling, though. They don't want to rest. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Where are you calling from? Are your name? I'm calling, I'm calling from any country. Alright, what's your name? Godswill. Alright, Godswill, pick a number. Number six. Number six? Hmm. Okay, what do the white horses on the Nigerian coat of arm represent? Come again, the white horses on the Nigerian coat of arm, what do they represent? Uh, 
and maintain dignity. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, he got it. I don't understand. Even if she stop making me feel like I'm asking simple questions. <laughs> okay, Gerald, the white horses represent dignity. Do you know that? Hmm. What about the eagle? Now, let me. What about the eagle? What does the eagle represent? It's too cheap. Let's leave it for the viewers. It's too cheap. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very hard this day. Hello, good morning. Yes, your name and where you're calling from? Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, good morning. Morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Uh, my name is Sifra. I'm calling from Aba. All right, Sifra, please pick a number. Number nine. Number nine? I have... What is the name of the first political party in Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it, Omo. <laughs> just try, just try, just try, okay? Just try. I'm listening. Yeah. I go with APC. No, bro. <laughs> it's no, it's all of them. <laughs> no, you know today is your country's independence, so you're supposed to know about your country. <laughs> okay. Can I answer you now? Can I answer you now? Yes. Okay. The name of the first political party in Nigeria is NNDP, Nigerian National Democratic Party. Are you seeing it on your screen? <laughs> no, no, no. I would know. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning, my name is Kathy. All right, please pick a number, dear. Number four. Number four. Who designed the Nigerian flag? <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, who designed the Nigerian flag? No, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Why is that name coming out of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's the, that's the answer. I'm giving you an expo now. The answer is on your screen. So tell me, do you know the name of that man on your screen right now? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Mm -hmm. This why I should wait, he wants to see. Okay, I'm waiting. There's no time there. There's... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? The person said I should calm down and wait, he wants to see. Wants to That's after seeing. <laughs> even, even if they see the expo on the screen, they won't be able to answer. The name of the man that designed the Nigerian flag was. Okay, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm waiting for your calls, guys. Tell me. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Oh, God. My phone is busy. <laughs> you people are going to... Just calm down. I'm going to take all your calls. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, your name and where you're calling from. Oh no. This is the one I want to read. <laughs> I don't understand. The, best, the name of the man that designed the Nigerian flag, guys. What's his name? What's the name of the person that. It's not all about saying Nigeria at. Who even know, do you even know how old Nigeria is? I don't know. I should include that question in one of my questions. Because some people don't know how, how old their country is. Hello, can you hear me? Good morning, your name and where you're calling from. All right, pick a number. Number what? Number two. Who won the presidential election in 1993 and was imprisoned? I'm going to give you the expo now. It will be on your screen. Yes, that's the man on your screen right now. 
So what's the name of the person that won the election in 1993 and was imprisoned? Oh. <laughs> it doesn't know the answer. <laughs> good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, your name and where you're calling from? Calling. <laughs> My name is Favor and I'm calling from Botacos. All right, Favor, pick a number. Number 10. Number 10. What was the first name of Nigeria? Okay. First name of Nigeria was was what? <laughs> I'm listening. Please, there's no time. You have five seconds. Doesn't know. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, I'm Emmanuel. All right. Emmanuel. Yeah. Emmanuel. Good morning. Pick a number, Emmanuel. Uh, number 11. Number 11. Who named Nigeria? Um, it's not a show. Oh! Wow, I'm so. Wow, that's nice. That's an elaborate answer. <laughs> Flora Shaw, the wife of Lord Lugard. Wow, that's nice. That's the yeah. person. She was a British journalist. Thank you very much. Okay. You're a good citizen. <laughs> 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 Hello? Yes, good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? I'm Miriam. All right, Miriam, pick a number. Um, number five. Number five. I have, where is Kainji Dam located? Where is Kainji Dam located? Um, I don't, I don't know. Where is Kainji Dam located? <laughs> Thank you for giving me that straight answer. <laughs> Instead of stressing me, Kindly Dam is located in Niger State. Guys, the, the questions that were asked and were not answered. The name of the man that designed the Nigerian flag is Michael Taiwo Akin Kumi. And then the Kindly Dam is located 